So I would spend a lot of my childhood going in between, no matter where we were at, um, going to New York, uh, home. So we were talking about this earlier. Um, and, you know, going to Houston, um, where my mom's side would live in Houston and the other side, my father's side. Uh -huh. um, um, you know, staying in the projects and so forth. So like I said, I, I've had the best of both worlds growing up. You know, I know what it's like to be on a ranch, yeah. you know, uh, fishing and so forth, like uh -huh. riding the four wheelers. Uh, man, like I have some good memories, but I also have some really good memories in the projects with my cousins and so forth, riding skateboards and so forth. So yeah, that was uh, that was my childhood, man, you know? Yeah, I, I, I sure that, that really yeah. hurt your mom being judged by people yeah. way back when. Yeah, yeah even now, man, um, you know, she knows what it is I do, um, get to travel, speak, work full time as a youth minister. Um, you know, I have degrees in theology, kind of go down the list. Um, you know, I see how it's affected her through the years. Uh -huh. You know, my first book, my, my book is on Mama Mary. Um, and man, like motherhood has always been something sacred to me, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't realize back then. So this is funny. Um, this memory just jumped in my head. And I usually tell this funny stories and so forth growing up is both of my you know my grandmothers are are very puerto rican like very from the coffee to the <laughs> throwing the chocleta the, the the shoe at you like for real but both of them would say the rosary i didn't know what it was when i was a kid uh -huh. you know um i just remember one of my well <laughs> one of my wellas would do it saying the cigar smoking a cigar you know um and saying uh, saying in Spanish, with it, which sounds like this, Santa Maria de Dios, Santa Maria de Dios, like really, really fast. Uh -huh. And uh, I just remember like, well, I, you know, get a, you know, like, what are you doing, you know? Uh -huh. And and I remember she would say like things like to keep the evil spirits away, you know. And I like as a little kid who don't have a faith life, right? Like, yeah, bro. Like I'll be honest with you, I used to get scared, bro. <laughs> like, bro, those Catholics, they're weird, you know. Like I, that was literally the only context of anything that I had, like something to do with Catholicism. And I couldn't even say that I had, if I'm gonna be honest, I didn't have a, like a, that that was even Catholic. I just knew that they were doing something, yeah. you know? So I was just like, okay, whatever, you know, I'm gonna go play outside or whatever. So for all you knew, it was magic and yeah, mysticism. That's the, I'll and, be honest with yeah. you, that's kind of how I looked at it, you uh -huh. know? Um, middle school, definitely. We were living in North Carolina and Georgia. And, you know, and again, every summer would be like in New York. And that was when I was, you know, starting to get older. Uh -huh. And my parents, um, my parents were a lot young, uh, a lot younger than most parents, only like 15, 16 years older than me. Uh -huh. You know, um, my pops, 16 years, love him to death, my pops. Um, you know, I, I try to tell people it's like being raised by an older brother as opposed to like mm. a pops, you know. Um, he'll bust you up and then be like, yo, I love you, bro. You know, um, <laughs> you know, oh, well, well, he didn't say I love you. Be like, yo, you know, you know, you my man, you know. Uh -huh, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, everybody has their own baggage per se. You yeah. Know? Um, so during that time, I would spend a lot of time in New York going up there skateboarding, coming back wherever it is that we would live, um, coming back with my deals and so forth here in the Houston area. Um, in Houston and in the Houston area and so forth. So yeah, man. Um, but faith was never like, never, never on, even on the radar so at all. No sacraments? Yeah. No sacraments. First no, communion? No first communion. Nothing. Oh, wow. Grew up in a hip hop home. My father was a DJ. Um, so a lot of, I was thinking about this, literally this jumped into my mind this morning. Um, one of my degrees is philosophy. And one of the, my favorite, I know it's going to sound weird. I'm about to nerd out. One of my favorite classes in philosophy was metaphysics. But it kind of hit me this morning. I was like, bro, you know what's funny? The first time I heard of metaphysics was Wu-Tang Clan. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> bro, I'm not exaggerating. People are like, wait, what? I'm like, no, y'all don't even understand like how I grew up, you know? Like, and I remember even thinking, like, uh, I think it was Riza and so forth. They were just talking about metaphysics and and the depth and, you know, something beyond. And I'm gonna be honest with you, as a kid who you know, Pops was always gone, he was special forces, he was always gone, 82nd Airborne, always gone. Uh -huh. um, you know, was raised in an alpha male home. Everybody was military, so very alpha male. Uh -huh. um, you know, I, I always had a sense of like, maybe there's something a little bit more to this, you know? Um, you know, you you see things and experience things, especially parents um, have their own struggles, you know, um, that go well beyond, in, in my home, that go well beyond, um, you know, just fighting and so forth. Like, I, those are the light things <laughs> that I would see in my home.